background to the ground up idea and project and the philosophy that guides it and then I'm going to tell you a little bit about the residencies over the course of the year. Can everyone hear me alright? Um, so James was keen for residents to be involved in the commissioning of any work under this section 106 um, funding. Um, because what he'd experienced in the past was that often with this kind of funding it's a choice that's been made for a community by outsiders and it's almost imposed on community rather than it being something that they've actually chosen or wanted. Um, so this is where I come in and Kath and Ian when he arrives. Um, James wanted the section 106 money to be spent in a more participatory way with uh, local distinctiveness. What makes South West Burnley different from other places? Um, so it's about finding pride in what makes you different from other people. And this is a challenge in itself. It's about not having a negative discussion and spiralling down into what's wrong with the place, but really helping local people to identify what they really like about their place and really celebrate that through a creative process. And that's where the artist residencies come in, a lot of creative um, way of, of celebrating local distinctiveness. And that idea of process is really important as well. So James's theory was that his vision was that it, what Ground Up was about is um, a creative process rather than an art product. So it's about how we get there, not really the destination. Um, in the North um, and what I'm particularly interested in is democratic processes of managing heritage. How do you do these things where a community have ownership and feel like it belongs to them and that they're able to lead decisions and um, just how do you engage people in a grassroots participation so that actually you can hand decisions over to local people and just guide um, gatekeepers to developing dialogue with uh, people from South West Burma. It's a really interesting place. Since 2002, um, the community centre has been driven by a set of recommendations that were drawn out of a citizen's jury. So they actually worked um, over a period of time with a number of people in the community, working through different issues and ideas and problems until they came up with a set of recommendations that have been in a ground up way drawn from the community. And they've stuck by those recommendations. To know the place, we're at kind of just approaching three months in of a year. So we haven't got a lot of time, but we've just kind of completed that kind of getting to know. So what, the, the structure, just because uh, I was yeah, background to I just don't understand the structure. The structure is twelve months. Yeah. yeah. You've done three months, like a yes. thereabouts. But yeah. that's not the residence. That's something else. And then the res. But you'll be doing the residence. No. Um, no. Oh. We we're with something to everybody. The idea is that I mean. The philosophy is that the community commission the residencies and our role is to kind of facilitate and guide the community and build those relationships so the community can decide who they want the residencies to go to. So you to three to. guys are working together to start to make some practical plans for that money and uh, where it might be best used and what's inspiring and what do you think other people uh, might be inspired by. And my background is as a community artist. I, um, I worked for Action Factory Community Arts in Blackburn for nearly 20 years, um, until two and a half years ago when I went freelance. Um, so it's been a quite strange process for me because when I finished working there, I was company manager and hadn't actually done anything as an artist for six or seven years probably. I spent a lot of time fundraising and organising for other people. Spend a year in a place with three people and build relationships is fantastic. And as I said, we've had our first kind of three months, um, which is actually only how many days? Four, <laughs> eight, <laughs> twelve <laughs> days. <laughs> the maths wasn't one of my strong country obligation, which is work with thirteen to nineteen year olds, mm. I think. Yep. No, we can pick up. Yeah. It's with particular needs, yeah. yeah. So that means there's no girls' work, there's no work with young men, there's no. This is the after school club, which is attended by what, 40 odd? Or is it Fairer Future for All? It'd be fantastic if we could have a banner. I thought, oh my God, for that. Mm -hmm. I can do that, I can help. And it was a great way of me getting to open a conversation with people using the skills that I had to respond like that, that I didn't have to go through a fundraising, planning structure, 
meetings, get all of those kinds of things. As an artist who was working there, I was just able to say, yep, yeah, do that, let's do it, and make it happen. Um, and when I say this is about conversation, the conversations have been happening on many, many levels. Um, this is the first time for many of the young people, the teenagers, that they've become politically aware, that they've become aware that decisions that are made at national level have an impact at local level, that they're recognising that cuts made at central government, the way they're passed down, then impact on them, and they're wanting them to have an influence. And there is a potential for there to be an expectation that because our first visible activity was about meeting a need and responding to a request, that that's the role we'll take on for the coming year. We've already been approached by the same people on two occasions now, can you come and contribute to this programme of work, can you do this? We're, 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 you know, we're, we were kind of willing to kind of join them in the community and be part of that. And, and what, now we're in a situation where we don't want that misunderstood. For every time there's a bit of help to do that, we're called in for that, because that's not the point. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to kind of make that understood. It is, it is, and that, I think that's part of the conversation that carries on, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's about keeping talking mm -hmm. about it, keeping talking about what our role is, what the bigger vision is. What Working with pride and self-esteem, yeah. and celebrating what's good about your community, yeah. and also enjoying that celebration is about feeling good about yourself, which is part of self-esteem. And that's why we went for the Wheel of Our Community Centre. It, was, it could have been a Save Our Community Centre banner. Uh, but we wanted to make it much more positive and talk about the things that were really good about the community centre and not just be about fighting against something so that when they do save their community centre they can still have the banner hanging up. So we're kind of being funded by the same thing from doing demonstration events. But that, other, um, <laughs> um, that, that never came to fruition. But I think it's going to happen in, in December. But I kind of said to him, well, it's a little bit awkward that, um, it, you know, I, mean, I tried to find some new ground with that, and perhaps it's more about us kind of recording that stuff, um, and, you know, just kind of being there for that, really, rather than kind of shouting with banners or whatever. This was the question, is, ideally, what you would have wanted to be there with them, wouldn't you? You would have well, wanted said, to be yeah, there. Yeah, the idea was, he said, we wanted to throw something down on all the councillors, um, but they, they had this idea of flowers. And we used this stuff called Plastazole, which I'd used in the Black Parade, that, um, something I'd done earlier. And it's really light and it floats. So I made petals, pink petals, out of this Plastazole, which was really nice to write on. And I kind of put them out to kind of use them, but I didn't make these. You know, <laughs> it's kind of like... Democratic manner, yeah. being part yeah. of their engagement yeah. with the process. Yes. Yeah. Which at the moment is, is, is wonderful, really. Because yeah. that yeah. means that yeah. they're going to vote, probably. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the logical conclusion is, right, okay, so I thought about my place and then I started celebrating and now I feel a bit proud of it and I feel a bit confident and proud mm -hmm. and my self esteem's up and then a community becomes affected because you start to join together and do something about it. So I mean if you're if you're if you're working with the community and you believe in what they're doing and you're helping them do what they're doing, why should you not be shouting next to them? Yeah. Why should you go, oh, actually, somebody that's employed me said perhaps I've got to be yeah. quiet about it. Then that actually completely undermines that notion of democracy, of ground. I uh, started in Liverpool in 1990, you know, with that very kind of political, visible um, community. But I think, and I, I mean, I've said this before, but it's also been clear about what the funders are saying, because LCC isn't saying you can't go there. The Arts Council will certainly not be saying that either. So sometimes there's kind of this, these unwritten beliefs that we can't.